today's collectible spot, we are having a look at the Funko Pint-Sized Heroes Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Blind Bag Figures. Couple things that you can know. Spot found these at his local comic book store. Spot found five of these. Well, truthfully speaking, there's actually more than just five at the store, but I did pick up five with the hopes that I would at least get a fair number of these. Now, these come to us from the folks over at Funko. www.funko.com is your destination if you want to head over and check out some collectibles from the folks over at Funko. But as well, while I'm normally not on board a lot of Funko stuff lately, pint sized heroes seem to be one of the very few things that I'm still on board with. I really like the DC and I still have my Batman ones. You can't see them. So why do you even point up there? You can't see them, but my Batman's, my black cowl and my blue cowl, uh, Batman are right up on my shelf here. Needless to say, the back of the package, once again, you drop the ball, Funko, there's no name, there's no nothing on the back there. But you have your blue, your yellow, I should say your red, your yellow, your blue, your black, your green, your white and pink, Ranger. Then, of course, you have Alpha 5. Uh, Goldar. Is it Goldar? Uh, that is Reader Repulsa. A uh, putty. And what looks to be another Blue Ranger. I don't know why, but another Blue Ranger is present there. He is the same quantity of variant or of, of uh, accessibility as the Blue Ranger at the top there. I don't know what the difference is between the two. I'm trying to look. Oh, one looks like it has a more noticeable thing on his chest versus the other one that doesn't. That's all I can work with. Needless to say, let's uh, let's grab a knife. Let's do this right. We're going to reach off camera. We're going to grab new knife assassin for this review. Spot that's a little excessive, don't you think, for a Funko blind, blind bag opening? Perhaps. Nonetheless, we'll proceed. Let's go ahead and open up first bag, bag number one. I'm sure, I think I cut through something. I did, I cut through the pamphlets. Oh, shucks, bananas, skins, and apricot sandwiches. What do we got here? Actually, there's a lot more than just the ones that they uh, alluded to in the back. There's some unhelmeted versions. Oh, there's a Zordon too, what? And there's a couple of variations. Well, some of the variations look like they do have the printing on their chest, whereas the other ones did not. All right. Lord Zed would be really cool to get as well. Let's see what we got for bag number one. Bag number one. <laughs> we spoke We spoke so well of him. There is the, I'm guessing, the exclusive Blue Ranger. This one has the little crest markings on his chest of Mastodon. No tri uh, Triceratops. Ooh, ooh, someone's going to get me some hate down below. Not bad, though. I mean, I like these. I, don't, I normally would not like the pop vinyl figures. But somehow these ones I find are acceptable. Not sure why, but nonetheless, paint's pretty good on them. There is the Blue Ranger. We'll put him down. We'll see if someone's. Hopefully, we're going to have more than just Blue Rangers. Oh, can you imagine? Let's open up bag number two using, once again, Assassin. Somebody said, Where was Assassin this whole time? He was just doing Assassin like things. Even by speaking of it, I've said too much. Despite you didn't really say anything. I know, but even just speaking about not speaking about something, I've said too much. There's the Pink Ranger. Now, this one doesn't have the markings on her chest like the Blue Ranger did. You know what? Let's show the differences between the two. See? There's the Blue Ranger. There's the Pink Ranger. Differences, yes. Well, obviously, main differences are the coloring and the different helmets, but there's the difference. There's the Blue and the Pink Ranger. The Green Ranger would also be really cool. Now, I know you're saying there's a little perforation right there. There's a little perforation right there. Why are you going through such efforts to use a sharp, dangerous-looking knife on a blind bag opening? Eh, something to do. Let's see what we get for the next bag. Oh, the next bag. We get ourselves a putty. At least I think that's what the noise they make when... And then they just got get their butts handed to them by the Rangers. These apparently are going to be looking drastically different in the brand new up-and-coming uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers or Power Rangers movie. 
Oh, by the way, they do have head articulation. I don't know if I touched base on that already. That's all you're going to get from them, though. All right, so we'll put the putty in the back. The ripped pamphlet. We don't need that, I suppose, anymore. We got two more bags. The DCs, also something I want to point out, and it's irrelevant, but uh, the DCs had like, and Marvel, I should say, had little holes on the top that you could kind of tilt the figure up to kind of see which one you were going to get. They seem to have left that off completely when it came to Mighty Morphin Power Rangers blind bags. Opening up the next bag. There we go. The next bag we have Goldar, I think that's his name with his little wings. This one actually is quite good because they add all this extra stuff to it. The helmet, the wings, little tusks there on the sides. Very nice. Kind of also helpful for the putty that's by himself here. And finally, the last bag of the brand new pint-sized heroes, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Let's see what we get inside. The last one we get is, sure enough, another Goldar. Another Goldar. Well, that's not bad. Out of five bags, we only get one double, two Goldars. And then the other ones that we did get, I get him to hopefully stand. He's a little top heavy because of his head. Also initially got a Blue Ranger, which looks to be, again, a variant. Put it right there. Also got ourselves a putty. Put him right there. And finally, they're all falling all over the place. The last one we got, or not the last one, but the last one we're looking at, Pink Ranger. Kimberly. Oh, meow. There you go, guys. Brand new collectibles from the folks over at Funko. Brand new collectibles from Spot's go-to comic book store. But Spot, that's not my store. That's okay. You can go to your local comic book store and some retail stores, too. And you can find these bad boys there as well. Today's collectible spot, we are looking at the brand new Funko Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Pint-Sized Heroes. Stay tuned, guys. <laughs> Stay tuned. Spot's got more videos. I don't know what that was. Stay tuned. More, more videos are heading your way. Thanks for watching. See you next time.